Hey everyone, I'm Erica Ziel. I'm a core exercise specialist and Pilates instructor. And so today I want to share with you a favorite ab exercise called reverse froggers. Now I'm going to show you a couple different modifications and I really want you to make sure that you choose the level that is best for your body today. Okay. Just because I show you a more advanced version doesn't necessarily mean it's the best version for your body, even if it's quote like the hardest. Okay. So sometimes, and actually many times, it's really, really powerful and important to make sure that we do the modifications first, that we can feel the connections in the modified exercises before we progress on. Okay, so for these, I'm going to use a light three pound dumbbell. You could go heavier, you could go lighter, you can use a little ball or nothing at all if you want, but it is fun to do with a light weight. Okay, so for starters, let's go ahead and roll onto our back. And then we're going to start with our legs in a froggy leg position. So I'm going to bring those legs up, ladies. Make sure you're not using your hip flexors. You're really using that low belly. So it's nice to put your hand in the pubic bone, lower belly here. So feel that lower belly kick on and fire as we bring our feet together. And then with that weight, bring it overhead. Again, you can, of course can do it without as well. But we're going to bring our arms straight overhead like this. So we're really connecting down around our ribs. So to just to kind of start here, we'll start with the very modified. I want you to take a deep inhale, and then as you exhale, you're gonna zip up the low belly. We're gonna soften and wrap the ribs, and you should feel your mid back also kick up, because there should be no tension in our neck here, okay? Now, keep a little abdominal connection. We're gonna breathe out to our sides. And on the next exhale, we're gonna bring the weight over our midline here. And then we're gonna, on the inhale, extend our legs out. So I'm gonna keep them up a little higher here. Then we exhale, we're gonna initiate with the low belly connection to bring our hands and knees towards each other. Inhale and extend, open back out. Exhale, low belly, and pull together. Okay, inhale here. So now make sure you get a light pelvic floor connection as well and then pull together. Now notice the entire time my pelvis didn't move. I wasn't jamming my low back into the mat, okay? Your low back can touch if you really feel like you need the support, but you never wanna feel like you've got pressure pushing down into the mat, okay? So that's the modified. So I wanna make sure that you feel connected in your core, that you can do that before you progress on with me, okay? So the next progression is we're going to add a little bit of flexion here. So we're gonna hold the legs here, bring the weight up, and then right here, we're gonna, we're gonna take our ribs and we're gonna glide our ribs down towards our pelvis, not towards our mat, okay? Then we control and lower back down. Deep inhale wide, abdominals are lightly on, exhale, pelvic floor, lower belly, and then we glide on up. Now, it's the ribs that are doing most of the work. Yeah, my neck is on, but it's not stressing. So if you're feeling a lot of tension in your neck, it means you need to activate the ribs, which is really the upper abdominals, a lot more. Inhale, control on back. Exhale, and then here you can even add some little pulses, just gliding those ribs down towards your pelvis. Notice my pelvis is not rocking at all. I'm really connected in the low belly. Good, and then release, lower on down here, and then I'll show you the advanced, okay? So deep breath, and again, if at any time your hip flexors start to feel a little tight, you could do just a little hip roll here, making sure that they're opening and releasing. And the other trick with the hip flexors, if they're really taking over, it's just telling you that they're overly compensating because we're not connected enough in our low belly, okay? So let's go ahead and do the advanced one. So arms overhead, legs are froggy leg position. Now, with the advanced, we're going to bring the hands overhead. In the middle, we're gonna flex up with the ribs, and then as we lower down, we're gonna extend the legs out. Inhale, exhale to move. So that exhale is initiating your movement here. Inhale as you control all the way back, nice and slow. Notice I'm going slow through these. It's my breath that is initiating the movement, not just me going through the motion. Good. Inhale back down, exhale up, and of course you can add a couple pulses at the top if you'd like. And then as you lower down, as you get stronger, you can start to take those legs even lower, but you have to be able to stabilize without it going into your low back or without your hip flexors taking over. And then at the end, again, I would always just do a quick little release. And then you can either roll to your side to get up, or we can do just a little roll up to bring us all the way back up to sit. Okay, ladies, so if you have any questions about that exercise or any other exercises that you'd love to hear more about, please don't hesitate to reach out, comment below, um, and let me know what other exercises you'd like to see. 
Um, and starting February 1st, I am starting my five-day Pilates Sculpt Challenge, and I would love to invite you to join me for that five days. It's going to be a lot of fun. So you can check it out on my website at ericazeal.com.